President Bush said today that he was disgusted by pictures of Iraqi prisoners being abused by American soldiers. Six soldiers now face the possibility of a court-martial, and a brigadier general is under investigation. Many Americans will be disgusted by what they see, and the damage to U.S. interests in the rest of the world is hard to calculate, but it will be significant. Here's ABC's Martha Raditz. The photographs were taken by the soldiers themselves. First aired on CBS 60 Minutes 2, they are disturbing and explicit. The Iraqi prisoners were hooded, stripped naked, forced into sexually explicit poses or human pyramids. And there are the American soldiers, male and female, smiling, pointing, humiliating the prisoners. I shared a, a deep disgust uh, that those prisoners were treated the way they were treated. That, that, the, 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 their treatment does not reflect the nature of the American people. The six reservists, two women and four men, are charged with maltreatment and indecent acts for ordering detainees to publicly masturbate, battery for shoving and stepping on detainees. Two of the soldiers are charged with striking detainees with enough force to cause serious injury. Staff Sergeant Ivan Frederick is one of those charged. He is 38 years old with 20 years of military service. His lawyer says Frederick thought he was doing what interrogators wanted him to do. These young people were being told by persons in positions of power to soften up these prisoners to advance the American cause, and that's what they did. The military says that does not excuse the soldiers' behavior. We are absolutely appalled by what we saw. In the meantime, America's reputation, already battered, has suffered even more. Arab TV labeled the acts atrocities. Headlines around the world screamed torture. The photographs were shot at the Abu Ghraib prison, where Saddam Hussein subjected prisoners to hideous torture. These pictures are uh, reprehensible, abhorrent, and unbelievable. I, for one, stood against Saddam Hussein because of acts like these. You know, this really reminds me of what Saddam used to do. And Peter, the soldier's commanding officer, the Brigadier General you mentioned, has been suspended from duty, but she does not face criminal charges. Many thanks, Martha. Martha Raditz at the Pentagon.